I'm Professor Hong Sun at the Department of Chemistry. We are working on the metallo drug by using metallomics and metalloproteinomics techniques, and we are hoping to design a more effective anti ulcer and also anti cancer drugs in future. In South China and South Asia area, liver cancer is very common and also the, one of the most difficult treated disease. By the time where the, the patient was diagnosed, it's already very late. And we are very interested in the special types of drug which contain the metal. Currently, there are mainly several types of metal-containing compounds for the treatment of a variety of diseases. The most popular one is the platinum-containing compound for the treatment of cancers. While the, the bismuth-containing compound we developed in Hong Kong U in the past decade is mainly for this um, helicobacterial infection. It's a bacteria present in half of us, and also this um, bacteria has been recognized to cause about 50% of the stomach and cancer patients. So that's why we, we are keen to work on this bacteria, how this metallo drug to kill the bacteria, the mechanism, and eventually we hope we can develop more effective drug for not only treat the bacteria infection and also prevent the stomach cancer. This is a protein purification system. We can get purified protein for further analysis by the team members. We use the latest technology we call the metallomics and metalloproteinomics. We can identify those potential drug binding proteins from the pathogens. And after that, we can use the protein chemistry and molecular biology to validate those and targets for effective drug design. Those um, types of medicines we develop, we hope in future can be used mainly for, for example, stomach cancer or the liver cancer. And also we cooperate with um, the faculty of medicine to do this before we can push to clinical trial. So this kind of uh, a collaboration and joint effort actually benefit everybody in the university. It can hasten the development of uh, a lot of these novel treatment like this one uh, and also stimulate a lot of new ideas as well. We know the chemotherapy can kill the cancer cells, but uh, it also affects the normal cells. So this is a, a necessary evil. There's a hypothesis that this metal drug will induce some protein uh, secreted by our body and this protein will protect the normal tissues from the damage of the cancer drug. By using this new drug now, we may be able to help to save the normal tissue, but at the same time, we maintain uh, the cytotoxic effect of the cancer drug. So we already proved this uh, particular drug uh, effective in preventing the chemotherapy toxicity in the in vivo model. We will uh, proceed to the phase one, phase two clinical trial uh, in the next step. And for drug development, normally it takes about five to 10 years because we use those clinically used drug and then for new medical purposes. So in this case, we hope and we can develop useful metal containing drug maybe less than five years. Our primary target is not to earn money, but we can guarantee this kind of treatment will benefit a large patient population in the future. We hope this kind of new medicine can change their life, so we hope we can contribute to the society.